For the past week, I've been dog sitting here in this really nice house for some wonderful people. They have some great dogs. I'm making more money off of it than I am off of my work because I'm freelance and I haven't been into work in three weeks. So that's given me a lot of time to try and figure out exactly what I want to do as alternate sources of income, if I want to find a full-time job, things like that. And dog sitting has definitely been a great way to do that, but there's some other things I have in mind as to how to make more money. One of the number one things that comes up when I've been looking up how to make money is like blogging and vlogging and all of that kind of thing. And it's really hard. I, I know people can do it, but I've been running my blog since 2015 and it just, it just won't get off the ground very easily. I implemented some new strategies that I found. I'll leave the link to the website that I was looking at that helps me out in the description. It's, so it's starting to get a little bit more traffic, but it's still not enough for me to want to buy the site for all year or like change it to host it myself or anything like that which is all really complicated in itself and I don't want to give any recommendations about whether or not you should do that until I know for me that it has worked. And the same thing with YouTube, I hear it's just a long game. You just have to be in it for a long time. But one of the other things that I was looking at was actually selling uh, photos online, like Shutterstock and things like that, which I think would be really good for a lot of people considering how they all have phones, they're all taking pictures constantly, just have to stop taking pictures of yourself and start taking pictures of, you know, stuff that's in the environment. And I feel like that would be a really great way to just make a little bit of extra money. None of that like survey stuff online, all of that just drives me nuts. I don't understand how anyone handles that at all. And you know, another thing that I've been thinking about a lot recently is selling one of the short stories that I've written as a Kindle Direct Publishing ebook, which I think could end up doing okay. I test published it on Wattpad and I got about a hundred reads out of it, which is a lot more than I was expecting. And so I'm gonna try set that up as an ebook, but if you have a little bit of extra time to read or write or just create this ebook and you think that you could make a little bit of extra money off of it, I'll have a link in the description to all of the resources that I used when trying to figure out how to actually put the book on Amazon. Um, I wrote up a whole thing about it. There's YouTube videos, blog posts. I think that once I have some kind of marketing plan laid out, I'll actually be able to be decently successful with it. But that's another adventure that I'm going to be trying to do here shortly. Another thing that I'm just starting to take up is uh, freelance blog posting, which I think is going to be easier than um, than writing my own blog and trying to monetize that. So the steps with that usually goes you have to guest post a couple of times in order to like make sure that, like have samples to send out to other people so that, that you can say, hey, pay me, look, I, I've done other stuff. It's good. Another way that I've been making some money recently is selling stuff on eBay, but you could also sell stuff at like thrift stores and places around town. But as you can see, I listed this Apple pencil that I found on the ground somewhere. It still works and I'm going to get $56 at least. There's still three days left. That is my quick and dirty guide to the easiest things to like make money with while in school or in between work and all the different things that I'm looking into right now. I wouldn't necessarily call any of them passive income. A lot of things that are set up as passive income definitely aren't. You have to put a lot of time into it to get anything out of it. But most of them are kind of work from home type things and I'm constantly looking to try and find new ways to make money and whatnot. That's really all I have for you today. I'll talk to you next week. Bye.